I saw the stones getting... All the stones are going in there. Okay, so this is the view from the top of our driveway. You can see stormwater damage has come down and gouged out its own path down the driveway and straight into our house. And in under our house, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, but from here, if you turn around, you'll see the the path across the road, you'll see how the the roadway has been cleaned where the water's come tiny across and this is where it's come from, it's come down from the National Park which is Lorikeet Track on the Mbiwa National Park or Tawanta National Park I think it's called opposite our driveway and that's the entrance where the bike riders, the BMX or the mountain bike riders take their bikes to go through those trails. And you'll see across the road into our house causing the damage which I'll take you and show you now. But if we pan to the right, that's the other waterway coming down from Sunrise Road. Because if we turn around a bit further to the right, that is the corner of Gindia, our, drive, our street and... Sunrise Road and if we go to the right you'll see my property in our driveway and the damage where the damage was caused we come back we see Sunrise Road on the corner of Gindia and then we come back down here and you'll see this is the drain that is supposedly taking all of the water from this gully here which comes is the runoff from Sunrise Road if we go around the corner, so if we go up and around the corner on sunrise, there's another gully coming down here beside our street, Gindia, and into here, there's this gully here that comes off Sunrise Road. Now the water intensity off Sunrise Road down these gullies has increased since they've widened Sunrise Road a year ago. I've also raised this issue with Council. And if you see across here, this is the supposed drain that runs off down the side of Gindia, you'll see that's Gindia, that's our house, there's a drain that runs down there and about 100 metres down that way is another drain that crosses over the, under the street and goes down into the National Reserve past our boundary, so this water here, this drain here is meant, is meant to carry the water down on that side of Gindia and under Gindia into the Fauna Reserve and down through the Fauna Reserve and beside um, Kuroi Nusa Road down to that waterway at the bottom of Kuroi Nusa Road Hill. Uh, but instead it's come straight across into our driveway. Now the other course for the water is to come to this side, into this drain. And as you can see, the drain is completely blocked up. So last night, when the water torrent was here, the water was spilling over here. So the water basically came up to the road level, which was here and it was spilling over, um, it was sort of lapping up, it wasn't spilling over because where the water was getting out was over here, which was obviously a, a, a centimetre or two lower, and it, as you can see the, the clear pathway across the road, and then the gouge in our driveway, and all of that blue metal, that blue rock in our driveway, has been transported or pushed down under our house, breaking our retainer wall um, and our, our drainage under our house, and into the downstairs of our house, into our downstairs rooms but where this where this drain or supposed drain you'll see there that it's completely dry uh, there's a little gap in there which I assume was taking some water but not much because this was a big pool last night but it's supposed to so if you follow the water the water trail it comes down here 
torrential rain that was black and I don't think any of it turned out very well but you will see glimpses of this river it was literally if my small child walked out here and tried to cross this river it would have picked her up and dragged her down here where all the gravel has been taken in under our house you'll see in there completely swamped um, and you'll see here this is our driveway effectively so this was a nice drain system here that would bring the water from around the back of our house and as I said this retainer wall here used to be you can see there it's all been pushed in and it's all been filled with rocks and rubble from the stormwater and under here and you'll see up here our wall has literally collapsed which we did have storage on but the storage has collapsed with it with all of our stuff and here's our driveway basically and it's gone into all of our rooms and our offices um, there's oh, there's truck loads of stuff here our freezers it was in the thick of it all of our cupboards my weights my gyms been completely swamped all the cupboards the timber on the cupboards rotting but if you have a look in here this is where I was before showing you the entrance point for the water there's the same red slippery slide but there you can see the water has just completely collapsed all of this and that's the distance that the the wall should be from our retainer wall so our brick retainer wall is along here a timber retainer wall should be about a meter off that but you'll see as we come down to where all of this dirt and water was pushed last night it's all collapsed in so that needs to be dug out and this retainer wall needs to be put back together um, but yeah the damage down here is considerable I mean not all those cupboards first in the weights and the weight set our freezer doesn't seem to be working this morning it was under two inches of water I'm not sure where the motor is on that we have to have a look at that and assess it but sort of little things you know this is where the kids play this is their bike pump was underwater our office chair it's a good office chair we're out here underwater we had all of these phones for our P PBX system we're out here sitting in a box because my wife was getting a new phone for herself so she'd bought it out of storage to to set up a new phone and they were sitting here when the water came down last night luckily this stuff was up on the bench so it was okay if we come around in here there's another phone that's been flooded around they were all floating last night in the water uh, there's a dismal attempt to stop it but it was there was no chance I and mean, then by the time it hit us it was already flooded there was two, six in, there was two inches in through here and, and luckily the, the level of the ground down here means that there was no more than two or three inches but um, was sort of that computer up there was down in the water so you know it's still working I think but it was um, well, at the bottom of it the bottom inch and a half two inches was in the water so I don't know how that's going to affect it I'd say that it's going to corrode and it's, it's finished um, we, we managed to just get the water on the edges it didn't fill the whole room which was lucky um, and we've got everything up on the desks in here so but down in this corner here you'll see down the bottom there this is all soaked up this whole bookshelf is you know this is a pretty good and expensive bookshelf it's rooted all right here we are again water coming out and You see it coming out straight over to our house down our driveway. You see this is the council drain completely blocked up. The water coming down. Got some sunshine. down off Sunshine Road, down here, 
and this is where it's supposed to be going. Our bins. To our property. So, look at that water. It's only a matter of time before this fills up. This is the drain I videoed four days ago showed you it was completely blocked. Although there's obviously water getting through. Um, it's about an hour this will take, I think, before this fills right up, like I did the other night. You can see there the tide's coming in and then straight across into our house down our driveway. Where on Friday night I just gouged a river out of our driveway and pushed it straight in under our house. Have a look at the council drains. Again here, so there's pretty much no drain here. And it keeps going. It's supposed where it's supposed to go. But this hasn't been maintained for three years. Look here, up here. in it. And there, there she blows. So it's supposed to go in the National Corn Reserve. This is our property. Sunshine Council Drain.